hey y'all welcome back to my channel um you guys can tell by today's title i'm going to be showing y'all um how to properly compress i know i did a couple of videos um showing you guys me actually putting on my faha but i didn't really go into detail with you guys um about it so i'm gonna show you guys how i properly compress um i had to be honest with y'all though i'm doing a horrible job when it comes to compression like i am out of my faha several hours of the day um which you're not supposed to be because it's causing the fluid to build back up in my stomach but y'all um compressor can be very 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 uncomfortable because you know it's tight and then where i live it's summertime now so it's really really hot outside so um i've been doing a horrible job i'm not even gonna lie to y'all um I, I have fluids that built back up in my stomach because i've been out of my faha um for a couple of hours today as well as yesterday all i had on was my um my wrap like the little band wrap or whatever um i just got out of the shower so um i did self massage while i was in the shower and i'm gonna show you guys how i do that as well so um yes y'all i haven't been compressing i have not gotten a massage i think in almost two weeks which is not good but like i told y'all the post-op care is very freaking expensive bitch and i have bills i have to pay first okay but um it's been about two weeks since i've gotten my massage so um my massage therapist was um you no know, basically you know checking up on me making sure that i was at least self-massaging since i wasn't able to make it to her within the past two weeks but i do go back next week to get my massages so you know i'm gonna take y'all along with me um i'm probably gonna do a couple of bbl vlogs up until i'm like six months uh post-op and then i'm gonna stop with the bbl vlogs and then give y'all like a one year update and then that'll be the end of that and then we're gonna go off of me liking the results if i don't like the results bitch we're gonna book for round two okay but um i think when i do if i do do a round two i may go with dr fasusi or maybe dr williams at 305 plastic surgery because i know dr williams he's heavy on the hips y'all and that was one of my main things i wanted like i wanted a snatch stomach and some hips because it wasn't nothing really wrong with my butt you know however dr gray he slayed but he didn't he he wasn't aggressive enough on my hips or whatever. But then again, I think it's because, too, I didn't have that much fat. So, the BBL I got, y'all, I don't know if it's considered a regular BBL or a skinny BBL, bitch. I don't know. But, um, I'm going to show you guys how to properly compress using your Faha, your um, foam board. I'm sorry, your Faha, your foams, your ad board, and your backboard, as well as the, um the um the bandage i think it's called like a bandage wrap or something like that i'm going to use that as well so um first let me show y'all how i've been doing my self massages give me one second y'all i want to put my pants up because i don't want to show y'all anything as of yet because i got a i have a long way to go okay i got a long way to go actually let me turn the, the thing this way that way while i'm talking to y'all i can be um looking in the mirror as well because it's really hard to try to put your forehead on and um, not have a mirror in front of you to exactly see um, what you're doing. So, um, it looks really, really good though, y'all. Oh my gosh, I should give y'all a little sneak peek. Like, her, it looks really good, but... Okay, y'all, so let me put this down like this. Oh, shit, hold on. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Bobby Brad with your girl. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, y'all. Post notification bell give your girl a thumbs up comment down below all right um if you're new here hey girl hey join the family if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning but um i just i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about Hold on, let me i want to say let me try to do a thumbnail first because bitch i try to do a, a thumbnail or whatever um the back side is is looking and this is looking good, but I think I'm really not liking my results really because I have this fluid built up. Like this right here, y'all. Y'all see this shit? This right here. This is this is supposed to be in, but it is so much fluid and it is so sore because my ass is being hard headed and I'm not compressing how I'm supposed to or whatever. But I told myself after um this week I, I'm going to actually start compressing and doing what I'm supposed to be doing so I can get that flat stomach that I'm looking for. But um. 
keep pour this down under the bed, y'all. I need to wax, shave something. I haven't did anything yet, <laughs> so, so don't judge me. Um, let me scoot up a little bit because I don't want to show y'all the booty, but y'all see the stomach is okay, but it's not giving what I wanted to give right. Ooh, giving what I wanted to give right now, and my incisions. Let me show y'all my incisions again. Right here, you see this incision? It's closed up. This one is closed up. Um, the rash I showed y'all that was underneath my breast is pretty much gone. I don't even really think it was a rash. It probably just came from the foams um, being on my bare skin, which you're not supposed to do because I was getting comfortable with that as well or whatever. I was putting the foams on my skin instead of um, putting a t-shirt on first. But um, this is the oil that I use, Stretch Marks and scars um natural skincare oil so this is the oil that i've been using for um for my skin and for me to do my um my self massages so all i do is put the oil in the palm of my hand i do try to make sure my hands are really really oily because y'all um it's you, I'm, I'm telling y'all it feels really really weird it's like your stomach is really really sore and it's really really numb at the same time so um it's like a very awkward like a very awkward weird weird feeling but i definitely oil my stomach up like this and then when i oil my stomach up like this um i try to make sure i'm getting oil everywhere first before i go rubbing on it um you guys can see like y'all can see like it's like little knots a little bit like in my stomach like right here right here right here all right here up here it's it's just hard or whatever so um i try to take my hand and i try to like massage up like this i see a lot of girls on here that massage and they massage going down but my massage therapist told me that you are not supposed to massage going down. You are supposed to massage going up or whatever. So that is what I'm doing. Any other hard spots that I feel in my stomach, like right here, it's kind of hard. I just, I press, it's, it's going to hurt y'all. It's definitely going to hurt, but I try to press up kind of hard. And then I also may take my hand and go like this and massage it in like that until I feel that it is loosened up a little bit. And then you'll definitely see um, some of the, what am I trying to say? Hold on y'all. I know I tell y'all all the time I can't do two things at one time. This side right here, ugh. Um, I do see the, um, the fluid bypass in my urine because it's like my urine is like a dark i want to say dark yellow dark orange color or whatever so um it definitely comes out in your urine you're not doing anything right now but just basically pushing everything back into your lymphatic system and then you know it comes out through your urine so this is how i self-massage and i do try to do this for at least i want to say 15 to 15 minutes or whatever it makes my stomach feel so much better y'all it's not as hard and tight and like i said this is not easy to do because you are still sore but you do have to get these knots up out of here because you are not trying to get a seroma girl and you are not trying to get fibrosis okay so it hurts but it has to be done so about 10 to 15 minutes of this and then um, that's when I go on ahead and I um, I compress with my faha and my phones and my boards or whatever. But you guys see, um, I think just by doing that a little bit made a difference. Definitely made a difference that fast. My stomach doesn't feel as tight as it did. Yeah, I do have two incisions down here too. I have one right here. Y'all see right there? I don't like, it's like a knot a little bit. I don't like that one, but it's one right there. 
And then um, my other one is right here. And then I got one on my back. Let me see if I can show y'all over this. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I got one. Actually, I have two. I have two on my back. I have one in the middle. I think that I can't see it, but every time I touch it, it feels really big. And then I have one down there, um, one down there at the bottom or whatever. So, yes. All right, let me show y'all how um how i compress so with the leg part like this right here you want to take this part here and you want to fold it so you want to fold this leg and you also want to fold the other leg the reason you want to do this is because the elastic right here it makes it difficult for you to pull it up your leg because it's sticking to your leg so you just want to fold fold this one and then um this is my other faha y'all this is not the one that i um just showed y'all with the zipper and then you want to fold the other um the other one like this so you want to fold both of these this way that way they can um go up your leg a little easier as well as um this part i told y'all i like this part this does not have a zipper to it this is just like a hole that's in the coochie part that you could just open up to use the bathroom <laughs> or whatever so um all right so let's pull this up like this i'm gonna turn around in the mirror in a second y'all once i get it up on my get it up on myself i just didn't want to um back up right now and do it because I don't have no drawers on so I don't want this video to get demonetized because I already be showing y'all oh I already be showing y'all a lot y'all know I'm very transparent when it comes to um this whole process I ain't sugarcoating nothing I ain't holding nothing back I see a lot of the girls a lot of girls be lying about their surgeries and look sis I don't have time to be lying about shit I got surgery done yes I did how I had to poop and pee after surgery the way I had to pee and poop. Okay. Um like I'm not fit I'm not finna lie and sugar cold as motherfucking thing. I'm not doing it at all. But y'all see that the leg part right here is folded. So that made it easier to put on so this part right here wouldn't um stick to my legs. Hold on, y'all pull that down a little bit, y'all, because I got shaved. <laughs> I gotta shave. I gotta shave so bad. I shave and wax. I need to do something to the girl. <laughs> to the girl. Um, okay, now now that I got the faha on, y'all see that I have my t-shirt on. Okay, this is something that I should have been doing. Well, I was doing it from the beginning, but I stopped doing it. So this is something that I should have continued to do. But because my ass got comfortable, I had stopped doing it, and then I had got the little issue underneath my breast. I don't even know what the hell to call it. We're going to call it an issue because I was taking the foams, putting the foam directly on my skin. And then, um, which you shouldn't put, you should never put the foams directly on your skin. Or you can. I see some girls in here that do it. I personally couldn't do it because my, I guess because of my skin type. I didn't know I had sensitive skin. These foams really F my skin up. So I was taking the foams, putting it right here like this. That way when I put the faha on, the faha wasn't digging, like digging into my um into my chest or what is this? The middle part of my breast <laughs> or whatever. But um when I was doing this, I was doing it without a t-shirt. So it definitely caused irritation underneath both of my breasts. So now I make sure I have my t-shirt back on, which is seamless. Seamless t-shirt, y'all. No lines or anything in it. Um I make sure I have it on before I place the foam underneath like this. So all right, y'all. So we have the Hold on, I gotta fold it a little bit. We have the t-shirt on. And you know, normally y'all, I put music over these videos and just let y'all watch me struggle like hell. But I was like, nah, I'm just gonna talk to them this time and actually show them how I do everything. So, um, hold on. All right, we have the Faha on. The, ooh, hold on, y'all. Hey, shit, hold on. Ooh, I don't want to. Okay, the butt part, you see that it's open. 
right here because we don't want no compression um on the booty or whatever backboard so the backboard goes directly in here like this this part right here goes like directly on top of your butt crack you don't want it on your butt because you don't want any type of compression on your butt so just take this you, you you're doing it this way just like this so you take this part you're putting it down oh huh. it feel weird doing the video this way y'all <laughs> having my phone turned this way so you're putting it down like this so you see that it's on your back right here and it's giving you that compression right here to stop the fluids from um building up in the middle of your um your your butt crack as well as um it's giving you that little dip um like a little arch in your back but you're like i said you're making sure that it's not on your butt because you do not want any type of compression any type of compression on your butt um next we have our i need to wash these they are so dirty but we have our foams um sometimes i put two foams on each side like i should be doing now since i've i've been hard-headed and not having on my fault not having uh not having my faha on as much as i should have today and yesterday but i don't really think i'm going to compress like that today because i'm going to put my band on so it's still going to give me extra compression but a lot of the times i do take two boards put them right here on the side um take the other board put it on but we'll take the other two boards put it right here on this side sometimes i do it this way sometimes i do it this way so you can do it either way i think today oh and then i'll take um the little flimsy ones i showed y'all that i didn't really like because they're more so like sponge material i take this and i put this one in the front and then my ad board or whatever reason being i use the flimsy ones in the front is because i'm already ha applying that extra compression with the ad board so I really don't care when it comes to the front the front of the stomach is these sides that i'm trying to get together because this is seems this seems like this is where all my fluid like traps itself at right here on my sides and like you guys see like down here at the bottom of my stomach i don't know what that is about but all right y'all so we're gonna take one phone we're gonna put it in here like this and I ain't got my baby father here to help me with this, y'all. So, we finna struggle together. And this is the part that always fuck me up because every time I start doing it alone and I can't get something on the right way, I start taking shit out. I get irritated and I just be like, you know what? F it. And I just half ass compress. So, I need to really stop doing that because I'm almost four weeks post op. I think my results will look hell of a lot different if I just do what I'm supposed to be doing. So this next one, we're going to take it and we're going to put it. And we also want to make sure it's even because we definitely want to have even compression. So I try to make sure it's lined up right here with my nipple or whatever. So we want to take the other one. And this is my stage two faha. I don't know if I told y'all that, but this is the stage two faha. okay so all right we have both of those boards in hold on let me pull this one back like i said we want even even compression definitely want even compression so those look even to y'all they don't one of these are not right and i think it's this one okay there we go all right there we go um and then as well when you apply in the um the foams i've i've heard that you want to make sure that they that you don't overlap them like this you want to make sure that like it's basically like this you know you're not overlapping them but sometimes bitch it is what it is it happens sometimes it can be difficult trying to get them to not overlap so I was told not to overlap them. I'm going to tell you guys not to overlap them, but right now I'm going to overlap them because I, I don't. I just don't have time. So I'm going to put that like this. 
okay? So, y'all see I have, what is that? I pulled that piece off. Um, I don't know, y'all. Okay, so y'all see I have both of my both of my side um foam board. I mean, I keep calling them foam boards. I got both of my side foams on, as well as the front, and then um I have my backboard on. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit because it has a tendency to shift. So this thing be irritating my soul, especially at work. So now that I done did that, I'm gonna pull the straps up. These, you could take these off as well, these right here, but I leave them on because I, I haven't really worn this with a dress yet. But I think if I do wear it with a dress, I will remove it because um this this comes off or whatever. Well actually I may just take this off and just wear the bottom. Yeah, I may I may actually do it like that, but okay, so that's that. And then um oh let me pull this down since we have it on now. this down and i've been looking at y'all the whole time and i'm talking about some a mirror i ain't looked in this mirror not one time i don't think i can't remember i don't even know if i looked or not i don't even know but okay so want to make sure i got compression down there at the bottom of my stomach because that is where all my fluid tra traps itself the bottom and my sides um so this is the ad board i already showed you guys the backboard this is the ad board um you want to make sure the hard the hard part is on the outside soft part on the inside you can kind of tell like how you see it doesn't go that way you can tell by how it's shaped how i've been wearing it the hard hard part has been on the outside so you want to put that down i think i'm going to buy some more compression too on amazon um probably next next week maybe like buy myself another board or whatever like have more than one board i really want some compression y'all for these um these sides but y'all see oh hold on see y'all I, I just because then when i do this right here and i close it up I feel like that's when the fluids start to rise and I start getting knots right here. So, I don't know, y'all. I honestly don't know. But, okay. So, let's close this up. This fall hub right here does not have the three rows like the other two that I showed y'all. This fall hub only has one row and a zipper or whatever. So, let me just make sure the backboard is not shifting. Y'all, Baddie's East getting ready to come on <laughs> the uh, auditions. So I need to get myself together, bitch. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Okay. So, got that. Okay. Pull this middle. I mean, not middle. Pull this back piece up. Like this. And y'all. You can't see nothing when you in these Fahas. Like, you just look bloated and real bulky. It ain't giving body at all. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, there we go. And then, um... I should have taken this because I did this before too. I've taken this before um, zipping and everything and buttoning everything up and I've placed it right here at the bottom to get that extra compression, but I definitely forgot. But as you guys can see, you see what I was talking about this right here? I don't want this um, pushing into my skin. So that was why I was putting the foam right here. However, I should have been doing it with a t-shirt on so. Since I do have my t-shirt on now, you guys see that I cut it like this. And I'm just going to tuck it. And this is also giving compression too. So, there we go. Cut it and tuck it in there like that. Um, oh, yeah. My boob is looking a little lumpsided. I don't know what's going on with my boob. Hold on. Yeah, bitch. I don't know what's going on. This boob look big. This boob look small. I don't. 
I don't know what's going on. Um, all right, so we did this part. We have, oh, and let me zip in it. I gotta get this faha altered because it's not snugging. None of my fahas are snugging um, anymore. So I got two of them I need, two of them I need to get altered. So that is how I compress y'all. Um, I, I roll up the elastic part of the faha on both legs before, um, before I put it on because when you're trying to put it on and these are still down, it will like it, it will make it difficult because the elastic um part on the inside is sticking to your to your skin. So roll both of those parts up on the legs, it'll make it easier to put the faha on. Um, apply your foams on both sides as well as in the middle. And then you do have some girls that um that use their foams all the way around a whole 360 because they do cut out the same shape as the backboard, how the backboard is shaped like this. They will put the foam on the backboard and they will cut out the same shape as the backboard. That way you're getting that extra compression on your back. I haven't did that part yet. I may I may end up doing that when I get my um, my Fahas altered or whatever, because my massage therapist did recommend that I um, compress all the way around, like the whole 360, put them foams all the way around, girl, or whatever. So, but yes, y'all, um, both of my foams on this side and this side, I have a foam in the middle of course um they say not to overlap the foams but i did overlap mine it is what it is um i have my my ad board um and i also have this piece of um foam right here um directly under my breast to prevent this right here from indenting my skin or whatever since my skin is still really really um still really really sensitive now this is the other part I don't necessarily have to do this, but because I haven't compressed how, I was, how I'm supposed to these past two days and I didn't put two foams on each side, I'm going to go in ahead and just do this for a couple of hours. But when I do go to bed, I do remove this because the extra compression sometimes can be a little too much for me and it'll definitely start making me feel like I can't breathe and I'll start to get lightheaded. So... I'll put this on for a couple of hours just for that extra compression and then um I'll definitely take it off. I got this from Amazon. It looks really, really good. That's probably why too, y'all. I was showing off because my daughter's um graduation promotion was on Friday or whatever. And um I had wore like this little cute little one piece or whatever. And I was like, bitch, I ain't wearing no faha. So I had just wore this for compression or whatever. So it was snug in my waist or whatever and giving hips or whatever so um and then today i had on another i had on a dress when i left out to go drop my children off or whatever and i was like bitch oh hold on y'all make sure this boy ain't rising <laughs> yeah i was like bitch i'm not finna um uh, put on no fucking phone call today it's hot okay or whatever and i put this goddamn rock on so <sighs> yes y'all i'm hard-headed i'm definitely hard-headed but let me look in the mirror real fast, y'all. At least while I'm doing this part. Make sure I ain't doing nothing. I ain't supposed to be doing. So, I'm just wrapping this around the faha to give extra compression. Ooh, hold on. We make me good for a couple hours, y'all. Y'all see, I am compressed to the wall. It's like I'm compressed, compressed, or whatever. Um, the backside, y'all see, I ain't got no booty right now because I got all this shit on. But y'all see that the bums is out because we do not want to compress the um, we do not want to compress the butt cheeks. I'm so mad. I feel like my ass done went down though. I tell you that much. I know this motherfucking fluffery. I was gonna say the two furry. I know this goddamn fluff furry back come through. I'm trying to tell y'all. But yes, y'all, this is how I compress the proper way. Okay. The faha is supposed to be a little tighter than what it is, but it's not. But this is how you properly compress. This is the way I properly compress. Make sure I have my phones. Um, make sure I have my ad board. 
and my back or and with my extra compression um right here far as my um um far as my wrap or whatever so yes y'all i hope you guys enjoyed um this video uh i wanted to share because um I got the shower when I put deodorant on. <laughs> I wanted to share it because I know I had did a couple of these videos showing you guys I was putting the faha on, and then I know my kid's dad had also helped me put the faha on a couple of times, and um, I didn't really discuss exactly what I was doing and why I was doing it and um, how I was doing it. I was just basically putting music over um, all of those videos, so I definitely wanted to show you guys exactly um, how I did it by actually talking to y'all so yes i'm trying to compress my sides y'all i'm trying to get my sides to come in a little bit so i can get that boom you feel me or whatever i said i don't know i'm not gonna say i don't know why the fluid is always trapping itself in my sides and down here clearly it's because i'm not compressing how i'm supposed to duh and y'all know when i was um doing my first couple of post-op videos my left side baby was giving me the blues like i had so much fluid built up on that left side so um, I think he was more aggressive um, on that side, if I had to say. I really don't know or whatever. But, yes, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you found that it was very helpful, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you guys got any suggestions of any of the videos you want me to do when it's um, surrounding BBLs, or whatever any information you guys want me to um cover let me know i have no problem with helping and talking to you guys okay so yes i'll see you guys in my next video